Hi guys, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So welcome to another spend the day with me in Harlem vlog. I'm going to be taking you guys around with me today. I'm meeting my girl, the Vic Styles for lunch today at this African restaurant I've been dying to try out. And then later on, I have another date at another cool like speakeasy bar in Harlem. But first up, I do have a nasty gal haul for you. I know you all love when I do these nasty gal hauls. So shout out to nasty gal for partnering with me on today's video. I have a few things that I picked out for summer that I think you guys would love. So if you're interested in any of these products definitely head down to the description box and just for reference I am wearing a medium a US size 6 or a UK size 10 and everything that I'm showing you today so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this nasty gal haul and we will start with my outfit of the day All right guys, so to start, I do have my ponytail back in. It's very easy to do. I think I even showed you guys how I get this ponytail in a previous vlog. I do have a beauty section down below. If you just head to my main channel, I split all of my videos up into vlogs, into travel, into beauty. Head there, you will definitely find how to do this. It's super simple. For the lip, again, I'm wearing my favorite Fenty Unveil. It's a beautiful like matte brown. These earrings are Joanna Ortiz and I believe that I picked them up from my Teresa. You guys know I love a good raffia earring and these are just giving me tropical vacay vibes. Oh, they're so good. I'll definitely link them down below if you guys are into beautiful statement jewelry. The dress, let's get into the dress because the dress is of course from Nasty Gal. Oh, no, when I saw this, I had to have it. I did not know that it was going to fit like this, y'all. It fits like a dream. It actually has, it goes with the curves of your body. It has a very kind of hidden zipper up the side here. And just look at this. You see this shape it gives? It does allow for your hips to breathe. It has beautiful slit on the left side. It's not very high, the slit. It's a pretty modest slit, but it's just gorgeous. And I'm loving this halter neck. You could tie it around the back and you can kind of cinch this as much or as little as you want. I'm also loving the cut of it. You're getting just a little bit of side boobage, not too much, but this fabric does not have any stretch. This fabric is definitely kind of like a very thick gauze like material it's a very beautiful brilliant orange color it's not a pale orange at all the back is out goes all the way down it's more like a a, a midi dress with a nice slit Ugh, i'm feeling this dress y'all definitely wearing this today to meet my girl vic for lunch i will link this down below again wearing a us size 6 uk size 10 go with your normal size remember this does not have any stretch so if you are between sizes size down um, i'm pretty sure this actually comes in a few different colors the material is very thick it is double lined there is no see-through quality to it at all so if you're looking for the perfect summer midi dress this is it y'all She's the one. Now, since I'm gonna be probably walking around a bit today, I wanted to wear a flat, so I just paired this outfit with my favorite Gucci slides. These are actually still available, so if you're interested, check them out. You can definitely size down half a size. They do run big and they are heavy, girl. But aren't they so cute? And for the bag, my Gucci lunchbox bag, um, the horse bit lunchbox bags, which I think this is a really great bag to start out with because it's fairly inexpensive compared to 
a lot of other designer bags and the quality of it is really amazing so that is my outfit of the day i will be sure to link everything down below for you all without further ado let's get into the rest of the nasty gal haul i have a few dresses for you guys a few two-piece sets y'all know i live for nasty gals two-piece sets i have oh a matching like oversized satin top with a matching bralette y'all know how i feel about a bralette i have another scarf top love me scarf top oh I do have a coupon code for you guys for a percentage off. I will pin it in a comment down below. I will also put it in the description box. If y'all want to shop this stuff, y'all know we sell things out over here. Go ahead and open up that Nasty Gal browser. You got my coupon code and go to town. Okay, now let's get into the rest of the haul. All right guys, so in addition to this stunning halter dress that I got from Nasty Gal, I also got this green dress. I'm just loving green. It's one of my favorite colors of the season, especially of summer. Green, brown skin, it's a match made in heaven. And this one I love because it definitely is giving me all of the Jacquemus vibes. Look at this dress, you guys. Oh, so this is an asymmetrical ruched dress. You slide your arms in. It crisscrosses in the back so you can tighten it. And I absolutely love this dress. This is definitely a mini dress. On the side here, you have ruching. And the ruching is elastic. So you, if you have more of not so top heavy top, but more width, more hips and waist, this will accommodate you really well. I mean, it doesn't look like much with me holding it up, but it fits like a dream. I went with my normal size, US size six, UK size 10. It fits amazing, definitely giving me all of the holiday, vacation, Jacquemus vibes. I paired it with a favorite pair of my statement earrings from Andrea Iyama, which is a black owned business. And it's a vibe. Like I can't wait to wear this to like a summer party it's gonna be so good the material is a thick satin like material there isn't much stretch in the top but like I said in the side there is some elastic there so it will expand with your hips just a stunning dress you can definitely go with your normal size next up I got a two-piece set I actually posted this two-piece set on my Instagram stories when nasty gal was having this incredible sale and I just I had to get it. It is a two-piece set. It comes with this stunning bralette top. You guys know I'm very into like the watercolor moment. I'm into things where I can pair this with tons of different footwear and accessories. And I just love the shape of this. It really fits my bust well. I got the size US 6. It comes with these two little strings that you can tie around your neck to make a stunning halter top moment it is double lined so it's not see-through which is great and then it comes with a matching midi skirt which is also in the same satin like material beautiful kind of like paint splatter watercolor and this is actually fairly long i think it's more like a maxi skirt but i have long legs so you can see kind of where it hits me beautiful material feels super soft against my skin i absolutely love this set I'm definitely gonna be wearing this to somebody's picnic, somebody's rooftop, somebody's brunch, like it's definitely happening. If you're a little bit more modest, you can always just throw a blazer on top of this and you have yourself a moment and a look. And I should mention that the top is elastic, so it does have some give and some stretch. Definitely check out this set. In addition to this set, I will link a couple of other sets I'm loving from Nasty Gal because y'all know they, they do sets very well. So next up, I think I might be the most excited about this, even though this is pr probably the most boring. I got this two-piece set that is a kind of like crop top bustier top in a black satin like material look how silky that is it's made so well and i also love that the straps are adjustable and it actually comes with this black satin like oversized button down top so that you could wear them together like a set that's one thing i do love about nasty gal i don't know if you all have ever shopped with them but they do a lot of sets and a lot of matching pieces where you don't have to buy things separate you can buy them as just a whole for one price 
and I love their sets. It has a cute little pocket here you can put things in. This is actually fairly heavy. This is weighty. It's made really, really well. I'm loving the high slit on the side. I mean, look at it. It's so silky. It just looks like uh, black gold. I love it. And just pair it with this. It's everything. I styled it with a pair of denim jeans also from Nasty Gal with a cool like front kind of stitch seam and a split hem that shows off the Chanel heels that I'm wearing with them. But ugh, love this set. Again, got my normal size, fits perfectly. I have a feeling that sets like this are just gonna sell out because if you're kind of in a minimal phase, if you don't like to wear a lot of color, this is amazing. And they pair so well together and also you can wear them apart, which is great. You get more bang for your buck. You can wear this by itself. You can wear this by itself, just kind of button it up, tie it up, cross, uh, tuck it into some denim jeans or denim shorts and you have yourself a moment. I will link this down below. Next up, I got another scarf, you guys. Look how beautiful this is though. When I saw this pattern on Nasty Gal, I absolutely love it. I feel like it looks very vintage even though it's not. It's a beautiful kind of silky satin like material. I'm loving the colors in it, those rich blues and burgundies. I know this is kind of more fall, but I just love this color. They actually make this in a stunning maxi dress as well, but uh, y'all know what I'm gonna do with this. Of course, I'm gonna wear it as a top. What I like to do is half it like so so that it's double lined, it's not see-through, and then I just tie it around very tightly and it stays up. I mean, of course it works better with smaller busted women, but it's a vibe, it's a look. Paired it with those same jeans from Nasty Gal and my Lido Mules and uh, doesn't it just give you like vintage, early 90s vibes? Like I'm here for it, you guys know. In fact, I love wearing scarves as tops so much I wrote a whole blog post about it, listed some of my favorite designer scarves, some of my favorite luxury brand scarves, some of my favorite super affordable scarves, and even vintage scarves that I've found online in this blog post. So if you're looking for scarves, definitely check out that blog post over on my website, fashionsteelnyc.com. And the multi-purpose, it's the multi-purpose for me. So I could totally wear this like that. That's the moment. Oh, it's a moment. Okay, last but not least, I got one more top because I actually like wearing like long sleeve tops in the summer because usually whatever I'm, I'm wearing on the bottom is teeny tiny. Maybe it's a pair of like Daisy Duke shorts, maybe my Jacquemus shorts, just tiny shorts. I feel like the proportions look better when you're not showing so much on top and so much on bottom where maybe you're covered on the top and showing more on the bottom and vice versa. I saw this really cool paisley print shirt on Nasty Gal, it's white and black, which is great, neutrals. And I absolutely had to have it. I love the material of this. It feels very, very soft. Almost, again, like satin or silk. I love that the sleeves are long. They have clear, lovely buttons on the sleeves and going up the front of the shirt. It also has a little pocket here. I paired this with this black leather skirt that I got I've had this skirt for years, but it's a very high-waisted skirt, so tucking this into it would look amazing. Also wearing it outside of the skirt with like my black Chanel mules would look really lovely as well. I mean, you could do so much with a shirt like this. You could tie it up. You can wear it over your bathing suit if you have like just a beautiful, stunning black bathing suit or a black bikini and tying this up over it. It works. It does have that oversized look and it's fairly long. You can see where it hits me. I'm five foot six inches tall. Again, got Oh, I actually bought it one size too big. I got it in a US size eight because I wanted it to be more oversized so that I could use this for multiple reasons. All right, guys, so that is it for my Nasty Gal haul. Remember, everything is linked down below for you all and I also have that coupon code here. Make sure to use it. And again, special thanks to Nasty Gal for always looking out for your girl, for always partnering with me. I really enjoy our partnerships and showing you all all of the best that Nasty Gal has to offer. So now that I have shown you guys all the summer goods from Nasty Gal, I need to get myself together because I have to meet Vic in about 
30 minutes. So if you don't know the Vic style, she's one of my really great friends. You might have seen her in a few New York City vlogs and even a Miami vlog. We're meeting up. At first we were gonna go to Seasoned Vegan here in Harlem. If you all don't know, Vic is pretty much a vegan. So I like to find new places for me to try even though I'm not vegan. I don't eat meat with every meal but they actually don't open until five and that's not gonna work because your girl got a date at six so i had to find another place and i had seen like a documentary on youtube about this place called taranga or taranga and it's actually inside i think the african museum here in harlem on fifth avenue and central park north east like the corner of central park north on the east side and Fifth Avenue, that's where the place is. I, I see that even a few weeks ago they had a party there and Gabrielle Union was there as well. I've heard good things about their food. It's African food. They do have a gluten-free menu, dairy-free menu. They also have vegan options. And I've been wanting to try this restaurant anyway, so I suggested that and she said yes. So very excited to be going there. It's actually located inside the Africa Center. I'm not sure if the Africa Center is actually open. I hope it is because I would love to look around and take you guys with me. I have actually never been to that museum. I've been or the center to like look at everything. I have often gone to Studio Museum of Harlem on 125th Street, but I believe that's closed too. Like, can I, can I supposed to get some culture? Anywho, that should be really fun. I'm gonna take you there, show you the food. Hopefully everything is amazing. And then I'm gonna come back home and probably chill, I don't know. I might show you guys a few other things that I've gotten in. And then I have a date. So we'll get ready for that together as well. I definitely have to show you some things um, that I got in that I'll probably wear tonight on my date. But then we're going to this really cool speakeasy and I'm gonna take you guys with me as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna call an Uber, even though y'all, these Uber prices are just, I'm gonna write it off on my taxes. <laughs> this is a business meeting. Anywho, let's get ourselves together, call an Uber, head on over to Taranga or Taranga and eat because I'm hungry. I have not had anything to eat all day but this cup of coffee. All right, I don't wanna be late, let's go. Oops, I almost forgot to choose a fragrance. I know you guys love when I do that. I mean, since we're going to the Africa Center, of course I'm gonna wear Bald Freak by Byredo. I love this smell. All right, let's put some things in my bag. Definitely wanna take my Chanel compact mirror. I'll link this down below for you guys if you're interested. I think it's like 40 bucks, makes an amazing gift. Comes with this little, not satin, but what is this felt protector case, which is really nice. So we'll put that in here. My Chanel hand cream, because I use so much hand sanitizer that my hands are dumb dry and you never know when you'll need some lotion for an ashy moment. I'm gonna pop a mask in here. I'm gonna pop you guys in here. Oh, my ankle bracelet. Let's put that on. Almost forgot. This ankle bracelet I just recently got in from And Other Stories. I haven't seen it on their website yet, but if you have an And Other Stories store near you, definitely check it out. I love a good shell bracelet for summer. I always wear one on my left ankle. I don't know, it just makes me feel feminine and cute. Oh, can't forget to grab my mask. I have a whole bunch of them here by the door. So I'm gonna grab a mask and my headphones because I like to listen to music and the Ubers. And I still got the old headphones, y'all, because I just haven't bought the little ones that you put in your ear yet. And I don't know if I ever buy them. I like the fact that people can see the stream so they know I have headphones in so that they don't talk to me. <laughs> Is that rude? 
maybe i don't know but it works y'all and of course my keys all right let's go Dress prepared. You like, I did. You like I fit this for you. You fit the vibe. So do you. Look at our colors together, though. We fit the vibe, guys. We do. I didn't even know. I didn't even look this place up. I'm trusting you that this is good. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. I haven't been here either. <laughs> but I would love some jollof. Yeah. All right. They have some vegan options, but okay. it's not all vegan. They, okay. I mean, that's West African food, so they definitely got some meat. Yeah. Hopefully. For sure. You're like, I hope they got. I hope they got some, some meat. meat. I need some. I need some protein. I worked out early this morning. Does you have a trainer? Someone you were online? Yeah, my friend Gloria. Okay. She does Zoom workouts almost That's every right. day. That's right. That is so I do that like four times a week. That's good. You guys, Vic has never been to Central Park North. We're popping her Central Park cherry 
This is so beautiful. Let's go feed the ducks. Some of our jollof rice. See, they say, don't feed the wildlife. <laughs> Oh, it's raining. All right, guys, we're out here at Central Park North, which is right across the street from the African Center. We just had the most bomb lunch. It was so good. It was so good. It was delicious. I'm gonna tell y'all what I got when I get home because I gotta look at the menu. But everything is good. If you can visit Harlem, definitely check it out. So now we're at Central Park, but it's raining, so. I think we're gonna end our date. Yeah. But she coming back, and y'all, she says she gonna take me a horseback riding. Next week or the week after? Horse Monroe's never been on a horse. No, I haven't, I'm a little nervous. I'm excited about this for you. It's I'm kinda excited too, as long as I don't fall off. You won't fall off. <laughs> if this the last time y'all see me in a, a live, in a vlog, I went out with a bang. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> now the sun trying to come out. What's happening? I don't know. I just got my ride though. I'm oh, perfect. It. Such a beautiful day at the park. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't been to Central Park oh, in months, you guys. Day. Not months, in years. So beautiful. Maybe not in years. I feel like Rose and I shot here for the new year, perhaps. Time to get some photos. guys that was everything okay the place is called taranga i hope i'm pronouncing that i should have asked someone there the correct pronunciation but it was amazing the food was so good so let me pop up the menu so i can let you guys know exactly what i got but everything on the menu is good they do have vegan options if you are vegan i'm so full y'all i need a nap so the cool thing is when you go in you could just scan the little id code the menu comes up you can order you can place your order you can pay online it'll it'll ask you what table you're at and then they bring the food to you so i ended up getting the yasa yasa grilled chicken bowl and that came with black eyed peas, jollof rice, okra with like some kind of yam in it, and spicy plantains. And y'all, those plantains were spicy, but they were so delicious. And the chicken was seasoned to perfection. It all tasted so good. I also got the iced moringa oak la oat latte which is one of the best lattes i've ever had i also got the hibiscus juice that came in a bottle the hibiscus juice has a bit of mint in it and sugar and water i don't know if y'all know but hibiscus juice is my favorite kind of juice and it was just delicious like so good i think vic ended up getting the veggie bowl that also came with jollof rice and just a bowl of del deliciousness. We also got like a little side kale salad that was good as well. Ugh, I'm so glad that I know about this place now because I'm gonna be going there all the time. Like anytime I have a feel for some jollof rice, I know where to go. Anywho, after that we ended up going to Central Park. Y'all, Vic has never been to Central Park North. 
I was like, she was like, what park is this? I was like, it's Central Park, girl. Central Park runs from 59th Street to 110th. Anything above 110th is Harlem. The Harlem residents, we usually go to the northern part of the park just because simply it's closer. And it's so beautiful. There's a beautiful lake there. So we just hung out there. I got grabbed a few photos for her. And then we parted ways. She'll probably be in a, another vlog soon because she wants me to go horseback riding. Horseback riding is one of her favorite pastimes time she's been riding since she was a kid she even had a horse and was like on her way to the olympics <laughs> at one point but when i told her i've never ridden a horse she was like girl there is a place that she likes to go where she takes her lessons i think it's somewhere in brooklyn and so that would be really cool so we're going to end up doing that just in case you don't know vic does have her own youtube channel and i think you guys would love it so definitely check her out the vic styles i will put a link to her channel down below i'm pretty sure she's on my follow my friends on my main page if you want to see any of my friends who have youtube channels i usually list them all there so you guys can check them out i'm feeling this ponytail it's been a while since i wore my ponytail and it's survived in a moment let's go to the living room because it's hot in here had to take you guys off the tripod by the way i'll link this tripod below i do get tons of questions of like what equipment i use what camera i use what tripod i use and just so you know i link those things in every single description box of every video so if you want to know what tripod i use what uploader i use for my photos and what camera i use it's always down below in the description box linked for you guys it's all the way at the bottom it says my my vlogging camera and equipment so it is full-blown raining out now and y'all why my date try and cancel on me because it's raining and i was like um i'm pretty sure the last time we went on a date it rained on us because <laughs> we were on a rooftop at a cool little spot and it started to rain and they gave us umbrellas and it was cool but then it like started to rain rain for real like a monsoon and we had to like run into the bathroom and we ended up being in the bathroom for an hour soaked so i'm like a little rain never stopped us before so i guess this is just the vibe it's gonna rain every time we link up we're going to a cool place so i'm excited about that oh yeah let me show you guys a few things i've gotten in that i think would be interesting for you guys i'm gonna set you guys up here on the kitchen table by the way this table i'm pretty sure i got it from walmart the chairs are from Wayfair and the rug is also from Wayfair. It's the same rug that I had in my Miami apartment. They have it in gray, they have it in white, they have it in black, they have it in brown. They have a ton of different colors and I'm pretty sure it's under $200, maybe like $130. So if you're interested in any of my home decor, please go to my main page and check out my home decor section. I have tons of videos on this apartment, where to find all of the decor and where to buy it all. I'll actually just link those videos because I get asked that a lot. Let me go grab everything that I wanna show you and bring it here and we'll get into it. All right guys, so first up, my friends over at Elemis sent me some skincare products. You all know I love Elemis and I spend a great deal of my own money with them but i love when they send me gifts they sent me this cool little basket that would be great for like little picnics you could probably even wear this as a bag that's probably exactly what i'll do it's so cute with the white handles so they sent over their superfood fruit vinegar liquid glow balance facial toner i don't too often use toners but this one looks amazing. Radiance Facial Toner. I should start using toner. In fact, everything that people who are like aging <laughs> should do, I'm going to start doing all those things. Like really, I just started using under eye cream. I use the under eye cream sample that I got from Mayor. And it's been making a difference. Like my under eyes have like never been more bright and like, ooh, like Bambi eyes, y'all. Maybe I should start using facial toner, but... This is what it looks like. Does it have a smell? I doubt it. Let me see. Oh, it smells really good. Wow, nice. And they also sent over their matcha eye dew, which is a refreshing eye gel. I love matcha and matcha does 
seem to have some amazing properties. So maybe I'll check this out and start using this tonight and see how it works. Here it is, the matcha I do. A shout out to Elemis for sending me over these products and for this cool little basket that I'm definitely gonna use as a purse. Like how cute is this? This is from the brand Oliella. Oliella. If I can find the brand, I will just put a link to their website because this is so cute. Speaking of Elemis, I did put in a huge order like right before I received this and I got this. A few of you asked me about this. This is the Elemis Sea Lavender and Samphire Body Cream. It smells like a very well-dressed man, but y'all, it's, I mean, this is one of my favorite lotions. I have a few that I go between, and this is one of them. It definitely smells like the sea, like kind of salty, kind of lav lavendery, kind of like the sea, kind of like a very well-dressed man. Like it smells, it smells so good. Ugh. Like if you're looking for a good lotion for your man and you want him to smell good, this is it. If you're the, the type of woman who loves masculine smells, this is it. I mean, it smells just very fresh. I don't wanna just say it's just for men, but ugh, so good. Here's how it looks. I'll link it down below. It does, in addition to smelling really good, do a whole bunch of things that's scientifically proven and it gets away the ash. Now, this thing I've been waiting on for a while. There are very few brands that I know of that are black owned shoe brands. And so when I learned about Chelsea Paris, I've kind of been interested in them for a while. And they actually reached out to me and sent me a pair of their shoes, which I think is incredible. So if you're looking for black owned businesses to support in the shoe industry, definitely check out Chelsea Paris. Guys, the box is beautiful. I love the green with like the silver reflective logo. Everything comes with a stunning little dust bag. It's big enough to fit both pairs of shoes. They do very like minimal heels and mules. And y'all, aren't these everything? They are too good. First of all, blue. Such a great color for summer. Look at this heel. If this doesn't scream 70s, I don't know what does. Like if you have a problem with stilettos or very thin heels, but you want something that's very on trend that you can wear all day, this is it. Very, very comfortable. Has a tiny little platform at the bottom and just a nice wide strap. Beautiful, beautiful materials. I don't know, is this leather? Is this 100% leather? I'm not sure. Don't get me to lying, but stunning. Made in Italy. I mean, ugh. Go with your normal size. I'm usually a US size 10. I got the Euro 41 in these. They fit fine. And I can't wait to wear these because y'all know how I feel about anything 70s right now. Actually, this goes really good with orange. I love blue and orange as a color combo. I love blue and brown as a color combo. I think this will go well with my Bottega clutch bag as well. And even my uh, Chanel bag. Yep, it looks good. It's like a match mate in heaven. I think this is actually why I got this color because I'm trying to get lots of footwear that I can pair with this bag. I have a few blue pairs of shoes I can wear with this, a few orange pairs of shoes I can wear with this bag as well as lavender. But, oh, uh, mm, yes, now I want more pairs now that I know kind of how they fit. I mean, this heel is everything. I feel like this is going to be the trending shoe shape of the summer, a heeled platform mule. Love it. Definitely check out Chelsea Pairs. I will link them down below in the description box. So you can just check out all of the many different designs and shapes and colors that they have in their footwear so i'll be probably shooting these on saturday rose and i are gonna shoot excited about that now i have a few hours what time is it alexa what time is it the time is 3.08 p.m okay so it's 3.08 p.m 
I did have some other packages to show you guys, but they actually tried to be delivered while I was not here. So I missed them. There was something from Rat and Boa that I missed. They actually just came out with their very first, let me move because the light over here is not it. That's better. So Rat and Boa, they just came out with their first swimwear line. You guys know I love Rat and Boa dresses. I own three or four of them. They make the perfect satin kind of like, what is it called? Satin slip dresses. I mean, the shape of them just fits a woman's body perfectly. So I was very excited about them coming out with a swimwear line. So I ordered a swimsuit. Hopefully it comes soon, like literally, I just ordered it, what's today? Today is Thursday, I just ordered it on Tuesday and it already tried to be delivered on Thursday and it was coming all the way from like Australia. I mean, that's some serious, amazing packaging and shipping experience, so I'm here for it. That's the swimsuit I bought, I can't wait to get it. I think it'll be a perfect little moment when I get back in Miami. I got some things in from Souk and Sepia which is a marketplace for black owned vendors and businesses and artisans. I keep missing that package. I have to get it because I'm gonna do a new end haul for you all soon, showing you mainly new end fashion. I know you guys are very interested in like what I'm buying and things I'm loving, not things that I've been gifted, but things that I'm buying. So you know it's real. Not that it's not real when things are gifted because I get to choose everything that I'm gifted, you'll know. And you'll, you're gonna see all of these amazing things soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh probably film that video this weekend. So I have a few hours before my date. In fact, I have three hours, so I'm gonna chill. I'm probably gonna take this dress off because I wanna shoot it on Saturday so I can make a thumbnail for this video. I'm gonna take this off and relax, drink some water because Lord knows I'm parched. And I will check back in when I'm getting ready for my date tonight. All right, guys. See you soon. It's crazy. Did y'all see that lightning? Anywho, I wanted you guys to hear it because it's really bad. Like, it's raining so hard. It's thundering. It's lightning. And so my date got canceled. <laughs> this is not just rain, y'all. This is a lot. So my date got canceled and moved till tomorrow. So I'm gonna film tomorrow as well. So this is not just going to be one day. This is gonna be a multiple day vlog. So lucky you. All right, guys, gonna watch a little Glamazon Tay. And I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. By the way, Skims, everyone always asks about these little Things I love to wear, skims. I'll link it down below. See you guys tomorrow.
good morning everyone it is i think it's july 9th friday there was a huge thunderstorm last night so my date got canceled so i woke up this morning i actually went to the grocery store early today but i didn't show you guys that um watered my plants made my bed made myself a nespresso love nespresso by the way these cups are actually from nespresso so if you want the glass cups just check out their website so today I have a lot to do. I need to film a YouTube video and I need to go get my nails done. I'm shooting with Rose tomorrow and I'm shooting a jewelry campaign. And so I need to freshen up my nails, which is good. These lasted about a week considering I don't have any gel or acrylic or anything like that. I think that's a pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to go to the same place I went to previously. It's a place here in Harlem that I showed you guys in a previous vlog. I also have a date tonight. I think I'm going to get my nails done right before my date because they're very close. The places are very close together. What I'm going to do is redo my hair. I guess I will just quickly kind of show you guys how I do my ponytail. As you can see, it's right over there. I do get a lot of questions about this ponytail. People are like, where did you buy this ponytail? I make the ponytail myself. It's fairly easy. What I do is I wash my hair and I have natural hair my hair is kind of in between 4b 4c as soon as I get out of the shower from washing my hair and my hair is super wet I literally just slick it down like this into a low ball and what I use to do that is eco styling gel with argon oil this one is my favorite i use a lot a lot of people say oh it doesn't work for me it's because you're not using enough you have to like literally gunk it down on your head you need to probably part your hair and and put it down in sections and then just kind of sweep it back into a low bun using a bristle brush and then i just tie my hair down with just how you guys saw my hair tied down just now and I go to sleep <laughs> and I let it kind of dry overnight so that it's really smooth. You can kind of see the wave pattern here. That's all I do and it just kind of stays like this until I literally wash it out. So my hair is just in like literally like a little hair tie. I just put it in a little ball and then I put the ponytail over it. So let me show you guys how I do that and I will link all of the products down below. But really you can use any hair. Let me show you the hair that I've used. All right, so all you need is one pack of this kind of hair. You stretch it out like so. And then in the middle there, all you have to do is take the hair in the middle. I'm gonna use this because if I do it with a black hair tie against black hair, you're not really gonna be able to see what I'm doing. So say I'm gripping the hair in the middle here. Just like that gripping the hair in the middle and I'm using a big hair tie but it doesn't matter literally I just do this okay that's it I don't know any way to like explain it <laughs> you just put the hair tie like that and literally just pull one through the other one that's it and then you can kind of move these in together like that. That's all I did. And then this is the part that's going to go around your little ball, you know, so that the hair hangs from your ball. So that's it. I'm going to show that to you one more time in case you really didn't see it. The hair is just literally in between the hair tie. I take one side, tuck it through. and pull that's it so now the hair is like secure in the middle and it's also very easy to just take this out of the hair so that's what I did that's why I have a little hair tie here I just did that little method and this one is pretty old and the more you wear it the bigger it will get but what I like to do is pull on it to like lengthen it a little bit I also would just cut off the little frayed edges and the pieces that are too long and then I'll put a little bit of oil on it just to give it some shine and literally I'll just pop it right over my own bowl 
and you could double wrap it too if you want and then i just take some of this extra hair like this is a piece of extra hair and then i'll just wrap it around the base until my hair is covered and i'll just tuck it under and then hair pin it so let me go ahead and do that and then I think I have some packages coming in, so I will be able to show you guys some stuff today. And then I want you guys to kind of help me figure out what I'm going to wear on my day tonight. I have a dress that I got from Souk and Sepia, which is a black-owned marketplace. I think I'm going to end up wearing that, but I'm going to show you a few things that I got from that black-owned business. I'm actually still waiting on some stuff from them. Like, I wonder if that stuff is going to come. Hmm. So this is what I use to spray the hair with. It is coconut milk maui moisture weightless oil mist for dry hair and this smells amazing by the way and this just helps me uh detangle it just kind of go in and straighten it out a little bit but for me it's like the bigger the better i love when it's super big so you can see these little frayed edges hanging here i'm just going to cut those off with my hair scissors And this little ponytail will last you a while, you know, as long as you keep it stored nicely. And also, don't sleep with, with it on, because the hair, it kind of tangles very easily. So I just take mine off every night. Looks good. Mm, smells good too. so you see that I put the ponytail on on top of the ball and just kind of wrapped it twice and then kind of just flip the hair over now what I like to do is take a few pieces from the bottom like so and just kind of begin to wrap it around the base of the ponytail pretty much just covering up that little ball of my own hair so that's not showing so I'll do one clockwise and then I'll take another piece and I'll go counterclockwise and then that will kind of uh secure it as well so I'm just gonna take some time doing that I'm making sure I'm like taking my time so it actually looks nice oh by the way I just did my makeup it's just my normal everyday makeup the lip is Fenty unveil and really you don't even really need bobby pins but you can use them if you need if you really want it to be secure I'm literally just gonna unwrap this and take it out tonight so the good thing is it's nice and poofy so it covers up your own hair pretty well I'm gonna watch a little bit of Cassie I love Cassie if you guys are really into like luxury and designer goods her videos are so funny. I love her uh, personality and I learn a lot too about like what's happening in the luxury designer like world really. I love her tagline too. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you love lo luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never definitely check her out she's cool i'm actually gonna take one more piece of just loose hair that i have in the bedroom and do it again because i can see just a tiny bit 
of my little ball. All right, guys, so now I'm done. Loving the way it looks. Ah. All right, guys, so I just got something super cool in the mail, and it is from Brandon Blackwood. Now, I'm trying to think if I have any handbags by black owned businesses. I do, but I haven't shown those to you yet, so it'll be in an upcoming video. But I do have tons of like ready to wear accessories, like earrings, and a lot of like beauty products that I use from black owned businesses. But I have been wanting a Brandon Blackwood bag forever. I finally got one. It came super quick. Like I ordered it maybe like two days ago and it's already here. But look at the packaging. Oh, stunning. Comes in this stunning white box. Cool. Look at the inside of the box. Love that. Have a little card here. I'm sure this just has... Oh my God, there's a handwritten note in here. Thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your new piece and can't wait to see you style it. XO, Brandon Blackwood. How dope is that? I was not expecting that at all. Wow, it's the little things. Comes with a super cool dust bag. Oh, I already love the size. You guys see that tissue paper? Oh, she is beautiful. Oh my God, you guys, look how stunning this bag is. It's like a denim and I've been wanting a denim bag I love the shape of this. It has a cool little zipper with gold accessories. I love how this thing like wraps around the bag. Let me take these off. I'm gonna wear this tonight. I'm thirsty. Oh my God, it is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful, you guys. So cute! Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, now I want more. So it has a little button here with the fabric that you can just keep, clip it closed. Inside, there is a strap so I can wear a crossbody. It's a denim strap, which is great because sometimes I like to carry a bag in my hand, but sometimes just having a strap makes it a lot easier. I mean, this is, this is stunning. Like the craftsmanship on this is A1. So inside there is a zipper pocket here and a little pouch there. It's actually pretty spacious. There's something in here keeping it shaped. But look how spacious it is inside. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's everything. Oh look, even the bottoms has the little feet and the feet have these little plastic caps on them. You could take the caps off so I can show you the true color. Ugh, I'm in love. Definitely check out Brandon Blackwood. I will link this bag down below or just head over to his website, brandonblackwood.com. I mean, these come in so many different colors. I think this is, is this the medium or the small? I can't remember. I think this is the medium though. Ugh this tonight y'all so bye all right guys i just got out of the shower and i'm getting ready for my date and to go get my nails done this is the dress i'm gonna give you a better view of it but it's from Souk and Sepia, which I'm pretty sure is a black owned business. Of course, this dress has exposed seams. I'm loving this color combo, this beautiful brown and kind of like an orangey red, almost like a neon red. So I'm trying to decide which earring I'm gonna wear. If I'm gonna do the Tory Burch fish earrings or just like a plain hoop. What do you guys think? Let me put on the hoop so you can kind of see. Please don't pay attention to nothing in here, y'all. This room is a mess have so much stuff I need to shoot. All right. Fish or hoop? I don't know, I kinda like the simplicity of the hoop. 
but I really like the fish. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna uh, pick a shoe, get the bag together, and then I'll show you guys the full look. All right, guys, so this is the look. I decided on these earrings from the Gilded Stone, which is a black owned business. I've worked with them a few times and their earrings are just absolutely stunning, unique, and one of a kind. I will link them down below. Perhaps we'll do a collection together. I know she reached out about like doing a collection and y'all know I love a statement earring so be on the lookout for that the dress again is from Souk and Sepia I got the size medium so the dress has this double seam down the front it has cute little slits on the side it almost looks like a pajama dress there is also a seam up the back this was on sale for like 20 bucks, so I just added it to my cart along with the rest of my order. I am doing a new in haul soon, and I'll feature everything else I got from them in that haul in addition to this dress. I'm not wearing a bra because I never wear a bra. <laughs> but I mean, if you have a problem with nipples, you can always just wear a bra. The shoe, I went with the Gia Times Pernil Test Back brown mules i got these from farfetch these are so in like i feel like they got in last year and now they make them in so many different colors i've seen them in blue all different kinds of browns and i just feel like it matches pretty perfectly and for the bag we're gonna go with my brand new denim brandon blackwood bag which is a black owned business as well so that is the look i'm gonna choose a scent for today i kind of want to be a little mysterious since we're going to a speakeasy bar where they make artisan drinks so i think i know what i'm gonna wear and then i'm gonna pack my bag for you guys and then we're gonna head on down to get my nails done all right guys i think so many jewels in here i'm gonna do an updated jewelry collection video soon for you guys i think today i'm gonna go with the Te noir 29 from lalabo i really love how this smells they also put your name on the bottle which is really cool so this is what i'm gonna spray i'll link it down below if you guys are interested it, it's a very unique scent at first i didn't really like it until i smelled it on someone else and i was like wow this is very unique. It smells very mysterious, very kind of earthy, very kind of the kind of girl who, you know, she wears a lot of cocoa butter and head wraps and she sages her apartment on a regular basis. Like, this is what she wears. And sometimes I like to channel that energy, so. So I'm just gonna transfer the things I had here in this bag into my Brandon Blackwood bag, my Chanel hand cream, of course, and my Chanel compact mirror. Cause I know I'm gonna have to like, kind of touch up my makeup after I get my nails done for sure. My hand sanitizer. This is a palm. It's moisturizing antibacterial hand gel. And I just love how sleek it is. We're gonna put that in there. I need to put a tampon in there because my period really acts like it wants to come on, but then it just doesn't, right? So, got my keys. Which come in that little Louis Vuitton pouch you would've seen me buy, I think during December. My headphones, cause y'all know why. What else? I always take two masks with me wherever I go. Cause you never know, one, one can break, somebody might need one. All right guys, let's go.
right guys, I know it's a little dark in here, but just made it home, had a really great date. If you're in Harlem, definitely check out Sugar Milk for some really good. I miss. For some really cool drinks. Make sure to check out. That's why I can't even vlog, y'all. Make sure you check out Sugar Monk for some really nice drinks. I had a really good time. Remember that all of the things that I showed you earlier in the Nasty Gal haul are linked down below. Make sure to check those out. And again, special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring your girl today. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next one. I need to shower and do my skincare routine because I'm shooting with Rose in the morning. Perhaps I will start a new vlog tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.